Look, I don't know what you want me to say. I could start with thank you. Thanks for picking me up. Sorry would be nice. You're smoking again. Yeah, I'm smoking again. Not around him, Max. You look good. I'm eating good. I'm not drinking. I'm not smoking. Nothing. Please tell me you learned your lesson. Well, I learned lots of lessons. I learned how to make a shiv. Turns out prison has arts and crafts time. It's not funny. How is he? He's good. Yeah. He's good. Well, good is good. Thanks for not bringing him. Well, he's got school. He's in school? Mm, preschool. <laughs> Preschool. Yep, he says he's a big kid now. <laughs> Wait, so this is what you listen to now? Yeah, it's only been a year. A year, a month, and nine days. And who's counting? Yeah, and not much has changed since then. It's just some music. Really? Did they complain for you during your stint in Folsom? <laughs> Do you want anything? Okay. <laughs> this is a missing person. Have you seen him? Bigfoot got him. He's coming round again. Yeah, right. Big, 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 hairy hate man bastard. You and your kind ain't fooling me. With your wampum, your umma, your mystic engine horse shit. Nickel Pete, if you see him, you give me a call. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll call right. Thank you. You're all in on it. Enjoy the fucking donuts. Those big foot lovers. Sorry? Giant hairy mohawk motherfucker. Coming around again. <laughs> Him his big old fucking feet. He's gonna get you. <laughs> yeah, sure it's shit. Twenty dollars. Have a nice day. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
That's what I'm talking about. Mm. Hey, huh? What? Put it in your pants. You pervert. <gasps> hey. Okay. All right. Ow. Well, well. Boo! <laughs> Convict. Yeah. <laughs> Ex-convict. Ooh. I'm shaking in my boots. <laughs> Are you done? I got you some uh, healthy trail mix. Really? You've been out an hour, and you already got me on an open oh, container. And it starts. Oh, Ashley, it's just a beer. No, it's a class two misdemeanor, because I already got one, remember? I guess you didn't learn a goddamn thing. I learned plenty, actually. I learned that when making a shiv, you've got to taper and serrate the blade. Otherwise, you just pop at people with needles, and that's just something they're used to. But when the time is right, the only thing that you have to do is aim for the sweet spot, just right in the kidney. Enough. Then you say something. You say something to make all this good again. Because you didn't say a goddamn thing when I was sitting in handcuffs. You know, you weren't much better than me, Ashley. Not much, but at least I was better. And I'm clean now courtesy of the Department of Corrections. Congratulations. I'm glad they could do it for you, but your wife and son weren't worth enough. For a year, a month, and nine days, I have been planning this exact moment. I'm just fucking it up. How could you fuck this up? It's me. This is me. This is us. What? What? Say it. I'm scared. Right now, in this moment, I'm scared. You're scared? I'm scared shitless. Good answer. <laughs> Shit. What was that? What happened to him? Where did he come from? What was he doing? I don't know. But our car didn't do all that. Oh, oh my god. Wait, there's beer all over the car. We just hit this guy. Yeah, there's no way we did all that, Max. That was not just us. Jesus, Ash. Just got out. Party of one? Don't do this to me. Think about us. Ashley, please. Yeah, hello. I'm on Highway 23, about 25 miles north of State Prison. There's been an accident. Yes, there's a man here, and he needs help. Yes, as soon as possible, please. Yes.
Mrs. Groin. You find him? I'm sorry, not yet. What are you gonna do about it? We're still doing everything we can within our means. Bullshit! I want answers now, or I'll have your job. Please. Mrs. Groin, we will find your husband. I promise you. You know something! You know something you're not telling us! You Mr. G sniped you. Any luck? No. Say, are you part of this vast Indian Bigfoot conspiracy? Nope. Nickel Pete says I should know all about it. Thought I was missing out on something. Uh, Nickel Pete might be right. Maybe there's something to those Omaha stories. You taking sides with Nickel Pete? If it means honoring the traditions, I guess so. So you're saying. You would call on Nickel Pete as an expert reliable witness. Well, no. Then what the hell are you saying? Well, I'm just saying we shouldn't ignore the Omaha legends. Nickel Pete or no Nickel Pete. Sheriff? I think you're smoking something other than tobacco in that peace pipe bong of yours, Diffie. What's this, Nell? 911 call. No name or nothing. Oh, hell's monkeys. I was just out this way. Call if you need backup. Yeah, I will. And I'll use the radio. Because smoke signals don't work so well in the rain. <laughs> don't fall and break the hip. You're lucky I let you wear a gun.
almost there. Okay. It was an easier way to get my clothes off. <laughs> Not with you. <sighs> I'm sorry. Nellie Bell, I'm at the location of the 911 call, about 100 yards north of Market 23 on the highway. You call Nelson, you tell him to get over here with a winch and about 100 feet of cable, ASAP, lickety split. In the morning, we'll set things right, OK? I'll get you back to Jameson. Where is Jameson? He's at Mom's. Poor guy. Stop. It's worse than prison. No. <laughs> I didn't know it was going to happen. I thought we'd either be yelling at each other all night, or we'd be shacked up in a hotel room somewhere. <laughs> Whatever it was, it wasn't this. I mean, what's our next move? What are we going to do? You got me here to protect you. Defensive prison techniques and all. So this shiv business. It's a legitimate thing. Who told you that? My cellmate. Oh, uh, legend has it. He shanked about a dozen guys back then. Please tell me you didn't shank anyone. No. I couldn't hurt anybody else. Not after all that's happened. It was an accident, Max. No. No, it wasn't. But we'll get you back, okay? We'll get us back to Jameson. And then we'll, uh, we'll make sure everything's all right. Okay, I promise. Hey. Look at me. You gotta trust me, okay? Trust you. Let's get this on the road. Ashley Carr. Ashley Carr? This guy. Check with the prison. Find out if they had any inmates released today.
What's wrong? Where are my clothes? Aren't they where you left them? I left them right here. I didn't touch them. Well, they have to be here somewhere. What is this? Well, there are your shoes. What the fuck? Take this. Here. Okay. That's it? I mean, unless you want my pants, too. <laughs> Works for me. Good. I'm glad it works for someone. All right, let's go. Hold on. Oh. Hurts, but the view ain't bad. Well, let's get home. Come on, this will be easy. We'll just follow the river back up to the road, flag someone down. It'll be easy. Shit's Creek, I presume. jeans and sand in my crotch so it's chafing my nuts <laughs> you win Red hunting buddies from back at the gas station. Unfortunately, they're the only ones that might have a cell phone or a radio. Come on, we don't have a choice. Great. Come on. Maxwell Carr, just released yesterday. What was he in for? Reckless endangerment, assault with a deadly weapon, his car hit a kid, possession, substance abuse, same old stupid fucking white man. So? The wife picks him up. They crash the car and vanish. So you're telling me right here, right now, to my face, that you actually believe there's an Oma out there, motherfucking Bigfoot himself, abducting white people, ex cons and all that. No, but I like it better than being told it's wrong. I like it better than being told it's not true. I like it better than being told what to think. It's an identity. Protest. Same thing. Not even close. Now you tell me right here, right now, you 100% don't believe it's Oma. Aha. You see that? I don't believe it's Oma. Right. Swear to God. Sure thing, Sheriff. You should go ask the whispering woman. She might know what happened. That's her turf. With all due respect, deputy, to the ancestors, fuck that. You're afraid of her. What? OK, some. Is she even still alive? She'll always be alive. She's not human. Please tell me you don't really believe that. No, no, not really. You should go talk to her. What she knows will die with her. You should listen to her before it's too late. Yeah, listening to answers you don't believe in, at least not in this day and age. Probably not. I really wish I could believe. I really do. Ironic, huh? I'd say tragic. I 
probably sit this one out. You think? Bunch, man. <laughs> the funky. What? Well, well, well. If it ain't the convict. <laughs> oh, I apologize. Ex convict. Look, guys, there's an accident on the road. Does anybody have a cell phone? Cell phone? Cell phone. Uh, I, think I, <clears throat> I think I lost mine. Well, no. Sorry about that. I mean, hell, it ain't like we get a lot of service out in these parts, huh? I mean, really, what's a moose gonna do with a cell phone? <laughs> a moose, a moose with a cell phone, right? Guys, we're just trying to get back. It's, it's not so much the technology, but it's the, it's the hoof. Can't reach those little buttons, man. <laughs> so on the cell phone, do you have one or not? <laughs> Maybe you could just point us in the general direction of the road. Road? Pick one. Stairs in the basement? <laughs> no, I don't know. Say, you know, I'm curious. What happened to that, uh, pretty little thing you were with? Oh, Ooh. yeah. My wife. Ooh. Whatever. My wife? She's around. Around where? She's around. Probably shopping. With the mooses. <laughs> For a cell phone. <laughs> How about a radio? Hmm. Radio. We got a radio? Uh, let me. Uh, I like the radio. Radio? Uh, radio. We like the. Oh, hey, you know what? I got one of those. Uh, perfect. But it don't work. Oh. Nope. Damn thing crapped out on us. Cheap gook piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Do you mind if I take a look at it? You want to look at my radio? What? Well, you don't think I can understand a basic electronical device convict? Is that what you're saying to me? And you're gonna help me with that? Lefty? Yeah. What's that word say? That is, uh, on. On? Jumping Jesus on a gump stump. That's the problem. <laughs> Hell, it is a damn good thing that this ex-convict wandered through here with his taxpayer prison education and all. <laughs> City folk. I'm smart. Yeah, I just figured out my toaster last week, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it makes toast. Can I use the radio or not? I don't think so. Look, I don't know where all this hostility is coming from, but we're just trying to get back. Because, hell, I don't know. Having an ex-convict in our midst... I mean, it's nothing personal, son, but... Uh, importing convicted criminals into our own backyard. Is that cool, guys? No. no. That's... Uh, I'm nope. gonna go with no. I paid my debt. Hot damn. That's good to know. Seriously, I'm done kidding around. Kidding around, we're having some fun. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> got him. We got a CB in the truck, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. Get you there in what? About an hour? Yeah. Maybe four. We can get him there in about an hour. You can call the sheriff. You know, I'm still curious, though. What happened to that pretty little wife of yours, anyway? Yeah. I told you she's around. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Survey says, oh, oh, thank you, Jesus. Bingo. Oh, oh, oh. Speak of the devil. Hmm. We had the accident. Is that what you kids are calling it these days, huh? Oh, hell, I got a bone or a cat couldn't scratch. Hey! <laughs> Keep that shit in your pants. 
All right, listen up. These two fine citizens, well, they, uh, they need our help. And us being, you know, good Samaritans and all. We're obliged to help them any way we can, so... With that being said, I want you all to treat our new guests here with the utmost respect. <laughs> Shut up. Sorry. Hey, and that means keep that shit in your pants. All of yous. You hear? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. whatever. Yes. Yeah. All right. Let's pack it up. We're moving out. Let's go! Yo, sweetheart. Hey, get going. Get going. Get going. Climate's off, the gears are stripped. The car was put in park, moved sideways, then forward off the road. It was pushed. I don't know about pushed. Are you sure, Nelson? Well, maybe the transmission got knocked there during the accident. Yeah, maybe. Bigfoot got him. Big goddamn footy mother, bushy effin', tall ass, hairy bastard. And you know it. Sure as eggs is eggs, Cochise. Could be in the south. Hey, Lefty. Yeah. Are we in the south? No, no, we're not in the south. Do you even know where the south is? Yeah, it's in the south. I mean, hell, you know, we as a, a community, yeah. You know, we really don't mind you, you know, convicts just waltzing through our homes, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Ex-convicts. <laughs> <laughs> so you want to revisit this again? Yeah, just hear me out, all right. I mean, hell, our wives and uh, our schools. Well, they actually find it enriching, you know, this uh, close proximity to such a wealth of, uh... Hell, what's the word I'm looking for, anyway? How about rehabilitation? <laughs> oh, damn, man, that's a word and a half. It sure is. Looks like our ex-convict's got himself a vocabulary. Yeah, but, uh... No, that's not the word I was thinking about. And what is the word you were looking for? I don't know, something uh, less fitting for mixed company, I guess. <laughs> you know, we're going the wrong way. Sun rises in the east. 
So that's east. We're going west. We're going to our trucks, young lady. And our trucks are this way. That's where the CB is, Darla. Body and spear look like they're going north and south. <laughs> I'm joking. But you do look like shit. Well, thank you very much. Go see the whispering woman? Hell no. She scares you, doesn't she? No! Okay, yeah. Yeah, me too. Verna Six Trees has cancer. They're having a peyote ceremony for you. You should come. Verna Six Trees. Well, I really hate those things. They go on forever. Smoke burns my eyes. I get piles. Take the medicine. Have a vision. Outside all this white man law and order, you need to be reminded that you're a part of Mother Earth. She teach you to be nurturing, loving, forgiving, self-healing. <laughs> go ahead, make fun of me. Timing's perfect. Must mean something. Like a scheduled airplane out of the blue. Where are they holding the ceremony? At Mama Day's farm. Not the reservation? Not the res. Reservation depresses the shit out of me. You drive. Hey, that's convict. Yeah, come here. I have a name. Well, hell, I don't know it. It's Max. Max, huh? <laughs> Everybody, meet Max. <laughs> Hi, Max. Hey, Hi, Max. Max, your pads. Hi, Max. <laughs> Doherty. Well there, Max. You know how I can tell that you just got out, son? Hmm? Well, you ever seen uh, an ex-con eat his food? Yeah, they, uh, well, they guard it, you know? In a situation or a scenario, if you will, when they clearly don't need to. You know, they wrap it up, they hide it. Like someone's gonna come by and steal it from them when clearly no one is. And? And? Well, Max, that's how you are. With that pretty little wife of yours. She's my wife. Uh, still rude. Excuse me for trying to protect my wife. Besides, I don't think she's your type. Well, there's no excuse for being rude. Ain't no social graces. Fix! Stand down. Now look at what you got undone, huh? You upset my boys here. I believe this calls for an uh, atonement. Okay, enough. We appreciate the fact that your radio does not work. What? No, no. Radio works, right? It, uh, well, it doesn't transmit. Sure it does. Sure it does. I was just using it earlier. I was talking to a... Okay, the it's radio fine. works? Yeah. Uh, no. I, I meant um, uh, something else. Radio's broke. I gotta pee. Get back here. I gotta pee. Get back. Why oh, you gotta run? Easy. Get your butt over here. What? Go get him. He's peeing. I don't care. You ain't holding it for him. Go get him. <sighs> so mean. Don't get your ass lost. Shut up. Go. I swear, that kid, well, he'd lose his head if it wasn't attached. Oh, Come on, man. 
too, Look, too we don't have, this shit. We don't have BD on our asses. We can at least have a little fun. Uh, I have fun. When do you? When was the last time you really had fun? I don't know. Yesterday we went fishing. Remember that? All right, hold on. We're gonna. I'm gonna stop for a minute. I really, actually, do have to take a piss. You do that. I plan to. Thank you. Appreciate your permission to urinate. You in Dutch with BD, Gord. Yeah, no shit. He gonna hide you. Yeah, that's why I'm out here, not with him. Yeah. What's that? Hey. Hey, Critter, what? Critter? Critter? <laughs> like them boys are sodomizing each other again. <laughs> <laughs>
Sorry, we're keeping you. <laughs> what? Well, you sound like a man of means. Hey, shut up, all of you. I, I was just joking. Right. I said shut it! What the fuck is going on? So the radio works. Great. Good news. Maybe. Maybe it doesn't. Hell. You see, this here hunting expedition, well, it's not exactly uh, on the up and up, you know. So you're keeping your criminal activities from him? Yeah. Not so much as just not wanting to broadcast it all over the airwaves, right? The gas station, you all were loading up for a hunting party right in front of the sheriff. Well, we hadn't killed anything yet. Haven't killed anything now. Not yet. No, oh, hell, sweet buns. What are you so concerned about anyway, huh? We've been more than accommodating, am I right? Yeah. That's enough. Hold on. Let me make the call. We'll just pretend you're not here. How about that? Honey Bunch, it just don't work that way. Then how does it work? Well, you see, it, it works like this. We have guns. Lots of them. You... <laughs> you ain't even wearing pants! <laughs> 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 Jesus, Trout! Wasn't that funny?
There he is. How long was they out? All night. Where's Ashley? Here's the deal. There's a creature lives in these woods, as ancient as my tribe remembers. The legend says that when our chiefs die, they come back, their spirit, as the Oma. The what? It's where the legend of Sasquatch comes from. We're talking about Bigfoot? This woman watches the Oma. She said it stopped at you. It got prideful. Its pride distracted it, and it got shot. It's down an arm, which means no arrows, which means it's out of balance. Since it's hurt, we stand a chance to take it down. Now, she said the Oma took your wife, Ashley. She has a chance if we fight it. This Oma, it's a century sort of, watching over the periphery of the forest where it lives. And it has seen the workings of man's chaos and evil for too long. It put it out of balance. So we're talking about a Bigfoot that's what, crazy? No. Well, kind of. Sort of. A lot, actually. Awesome. I guess that's just bad luck for us, huh? Not really. A man out of balance is easier to knock over. Is that Native American wisdom? Hell, I just made it up. So, yeah. It's time to go, Max. Now. These are Omar's weapons. We need them. Don't we have guns? Its primary sense is its sense of smell. It can smell gunpowder a mile away. It will stalk you and gut you before you can say, what the con? Kiss the thing.
this will hide your smell. Get plenty of it on you. bad.
the plan. You find your wife. You find your wife. You go back to your boy.
go. No. Run as fast as you can. No, absolutely not. Don't stop till you get to the road. Thanks, no. Ashley. Go. Go.
Ah. <sighs>